My name is Fricky Lowe. Um, I'm from Eduvision, a project that we started in December 2017. I think it's where everything started. At the end of 2017, I studied the national results of the country. And I saw that one of the schools, Tsumkwe, secondary school was rock bottom as far as the external results are concerned. So on one day I drove to Tsumkwe, met the principal, asked if we can be of any assistance. And at the beginning of 2018, we started to negotiate and cooperate with Tsumkwe Secondary School. We know that we must be of assistance of some kind, but Traveling 500 kilometers from Otsiwarongu to Tsumkwe, we really do not know what we must do. And after a couple of meetings with the ministry, with stakeholders, with everyone we think that can be of some assistance, we end up with Paratus um, and B2 Gold. And since then, Starting with the one school, this project just expand, growing bigger and bigger and bigger. So I think as far as the project is concerned, going to remote schools, giving those learners access to information, I think this is something that is quite favorable by all the people that we give this explanation and demonstration of education. Why must learners in remote areas be deprived from a source of knowledge comparing to their peers in Ventuk or any town in Namibia? So our main focus is to bring information through the internet to the doorsteps of those remote schools. They have to write the same examination at the end of the year as all the other learners in, in towns or in Ventuk, but do not have access to this information. So um, that was the main reason. And our motto, our slogan at Erivision, if one teacher and one child can benefit from this whole exercise. It's fine with us, it's good. Blended learning is where in the first place, you must definitely have your teacher and to add to this teacher, a form of teaching aid is the internet. You have this balance between the teacher in the class and technological services, whatever you want to have. Blended learning is how you can merge these two aspects with each other. So the teacher in between is a very important person. Putting up the equipment, connect the school to the internet. Give training to the teachers and learners. We have got approximately through the assistance of Educate Academy in Otsiwarongu, 2,500 pre-recorded lessons in four subjects, mathematics, biology, physics, and chemistry. And those project schools can watch those lessons whenever, wherever they prefer to do it. If a teacher will leave the school for a certain period, he or she can record the lessons and the learners can just continue with the learning process. And when the teacher returns, they can just continue. We can have simultaneous teaching between Educate Academy and whatever project school put in the request. So on the request of the principal, it is possible when we have, say for example, a physical science lesson at 10 o'clock in Educate, the learners in any other school can open up the system and they receive teaching from the teacher 
from Otsiwarong. Just to give an example, one of the principals requested us to do this simultaneous teaching and I think approximately six, seven lessons, there was a direct teaching while the teacher in Otsiwarongu was teaching her learners, the learners in the other school also received the teaching. And it's possible that all the schools can link up for a chemistry lesson, a mathematics lesson at that specific point in time. Another request that we received from a school was the teacher left the school for four weeks. In the afternoons, we have the program where the teacher in Otsiwarongu teaches in the afternoon mathematics. And um, what is also very, I think, one of the better aspects is that the teacher in Otsiwarongu can write down the mathematical problem on the smart board, ask the learner from wherever the school is to go to the smart board and to complete this mathematical problem. And you've got this direct interaction between teacher in Otsiwarongu and doesn't matter where the other school is, but that can take place. This interaction between teacher and learner through this technical concept is possible. And it is happening. At this point in time, 15 schools, approximately 10,000 learners online from the north to the south, from east to west. We hope that we will end up with 50 schools at the end of our project. My biggest dream with this whole Edivision project is when I visit one of the project schools, walking into the room, I will find them discussing a mathematical problems with whatever school, wherever it is. And those learners in groups can discuss what is the outcome of this mathematical problem, what is the answer on this biology paper. So hopefully, just hopefully, that learners will come to that point where the teacher put up the exam paper of last year in chemistry and they are working through those papers, assisting one another and with the help and assistance of the teacher come up with the correct answer. That's the dream. And it's possible.